Aware of Birmingham's point earlier in the day, Portsmouth had even greater incentive to maintain their own excellent run of form against Fulham at Craven Cottage. Not the easiest of tasks as Chris Coleman's side had won nine of their previous 11 English Premier League home games. Wayne Bridge returned for them after a hip injury, while Mark Crosley continued to deputise in goal for the injured Antti Niemi. Sean Davis made his name at Fulham before moving to Portsmouth following a brief spell at Spurs, a big day for him. Still no Papa Bupa Diop in midfield for Fulham, so extra responsibility there for another ex-Spur, Michael Brown. Not surprisingly, Harry Redknapp kept faith with the side that had picked up six points from the last two games. It looked bleak for the Pompey manager a fortnight ago, but with his side starting to gel and five home games still to come, an escape route has been hatched. Tony Gale and Jim Proudfoot were at the cottage. Fulham today looking for a tenth home win in 12. Last time out here, they beat Chelsea. Can Portsmouth succeed where Chelsea failed? Benjani's ball in force for Gary O'Neill. Portsmouth have the perfect start. What a start for Harry Redknapp's Portsmouth ahead inside the opening minute of the game. That's an easy clearance for Wayne Bridge, an in-swinging cross on the left-hand side. He's missed it completely. Gary O'Neill misses hits the shot, but Mark Crossley goes down the ground maybe a little bit early. And the ball bounces over him and into the back of the net for the most perfect of starts for Portsmouth. Which is throw for Luis Bomorte. has been a very solid acquisition since moving from Belgian football. Here's Malbron with a nice turn. Oh, what a strike! It's 1-1. Steve Malbron with a stunning equaliser. That's a great finish, great execution. Dean Kyle has got no chance as it goes in off the far post. When it broke, he had yards of space, and didn't he make him pay for it? With, oh, a cracking finish. for handball, and Sandro is electing for it to go out of play for a corner, so he's to keep it alive. And he's nutmeg Brown brilliantly, pulls it across, what a miss! A difficult chance, Sean Davis sliding in, but he must have been no more than five feet from goal as he stretched to try and reach it and put it over the bar. Wonderful bit of skill, little nutmeg on Michael Brown, Davis stretching in, he's only got to keep it down. Chris Coleman has admitted that the title of survival has almost been achieved now. He is stressing to his players that the season must go on until the final game is over. And here's Luar Luar. Out comes Crossley. Not to good effect. Portsmouth lead again. Again, it's a goal from a throw in, and it's in Pompey's half. It's just flicked on by Ben Jarn. He's at night the wrong side. He thinks about pulling him down. He knows he's the last man. He's off. If he does so, he doesn't pull him down, but look at the finish with the outside of the foot as Crossley comes out. What a poor goal to concede by the Fulham defence, but a wonderful bit of skill by Luar Luar. Bridge away from Benjani. Just leaning into Wayne Bridge. Free kick taken for the former Southampton man again. That's the danger that Portsmouth have to try and beware of McBride hitting the bar. Great cross by Bridge, super header, done everything but score. <laughs> nice touch by McBride. For Morte, Collins John should have scored. Portsmouth with a real lead off. Well, that is a glaring miss. No way should he miss the target. Forced the keeper to make a save, yes, but no way should he miss the target. Deflection. 3-1. A freakish goal. But he's given Portsmouth some breathing space. Gary O'Neill's shot was going on target. And it looks like it comes off the head of Kristen Bell. Brown and Sean Davis has been caught there. 
That's a red card. That's a red card, yes. Straight away you can see that, Jim. I had to call it, I'm really sorry, but that's a dreadful tackle from Michael Brown. His first touch leads him into the tackle because it's a poor one, and he went straight over the top of the ball. Caradas couldn't set the seal on the afternoon with a goal with the last touch of the game, but it's victory for Portsmouth in a match in which they led inside 45 seconds, but what a hugely important win this is for Portsmouth, who've now picked up three victories on the bounce and have completely transformed the bottom of the table. West Bromwich Albion went into...